Hi everyone, welcome back to my GoodSync tutorials. I'm going to show you how GoodSync does an automatic backup when we're doing our synchronizing in case you end up with a corrupted file. Here I've got my GoodSync window. It's an empty job. I do have two, I've created two folders. The left side is SCP Docs AA GoodSync tests, and the right side is on my Mac. Now on my Mac, you'll see over here, well, I'm bringing the windows in, that the folder is empty. So it's documents, good sync, tests, and so on. So it's an empty folder. And then back here on Windows, I have an empty folder here as well. So let's put something in that folder. I'm gonna do a simple screen sh screenshot of something. Let's do a screenshot of myself over here. And take that, let's bring it into our window. So there's the screenshot right there. And I'm gonna drag this screenshot into our folder, we now have a folder in here, uh, sorry, a file in here. There's the file. So in good sync, if I hit analyze, it sees that the file is in there and it sees that it is not present on the other side. But check this out. On the Mac side, it has created new folders. Just by doing the synchronization, it's created a GS data file folder with a log file, as well as a DS store uh, folder. Now, these are file, these are hidden, um, but I have them so they display. So we've got the GS data and we've got the store file here. And I'm probably look, should be looking up here because I've dragged it over here. But my computer's sitting over here. So let's do a synchronization. And there we go. It is now run. And you'll see that we now have the new file. In both folders, we have a GS folder, GS data folder. So here's the Windows, here's the Windows side. And over here, over there is the Mac side. And we have this file. And we can see that it's a picture of me. So let's double click that. And we've got a picture of a screenshot of me doing this presentation. So let's in this, let's uh, look at it in the Mac side as well. Double click it on the Mac. And there we have the same picture. Okay, so there's me right there. So let's make a, let's pretend we're gonna corrupt it on one side. Over here on the Mac side, I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna mess with it. And uh, we'll, we'll draw uh, on my, give myself a red <laughs> beard and mustache and a nice hat. Okay. So there we go. So I've now made a new copy of it. I'm going to hit uh, save. Okay, it's just saved it. Get rid of that. And as you can see, if I click on it, it's got this funny looking picture of me. Okay. But over here on the Windows side, we'll close this preview. On the Windows side, this one is still the same because we haven't synced it yet. So in good sync, we're going to hit analyze. And this green arrow tells us that we need a new copy over there on the Mac on the window side. Make that a little bit tighter. Okay. So this says that it needs a new one over here. It was updated. Okay. So if I sync it, now the one on the window side, which is this one here, has my funny drawing. And we can consider that a corrupted file because I didn't want to do that. Um, now on the Windows side, because it's synced from the Mac to the Windows side, in the Windows folder, the GS data folder, there is now a new folder. And it's labeled as saved. Double click that. And here is the original file. So when GoodSync does a synchronization, it creates a backup of the file that's being replaced. Now it only creates one. And each time I do a synchronization, I think it's gonna get overwritten. But if you wanted to restore this one, if you showed up at your other computer and found that it was no good, something was wrong, you could go into this GS data slash saved folder and find a saved copy of your last synchronized file. Let's do uh, a analyze and sync. Both sides are fine. Okay, so I can't sync it. 
Let's see if it changed this one at all. Did it? It did not. It still saved it, so it was there. Let's go back over to the Mac side. And we'll make another edit over here. Another marker. And we'll just uh, give myself some clouds behind my head or whatnot. Okay, it's just messing around. And now I'm going to save it. Okay, so I've just saved that file. And over here on the window side where this job lives, I'm going to click on Analyze, and you'll see that it's been updated, and it wants to bring my file over, and I click on Sync. It just synchronized it. Let's see what it did with the saved version, that other backup. It now has replaced it with that other version. So each time I do a sync, it's going to update it with the last version, and it's going to save that. So now I can't go back to the first one, but I can go back to this one. Because over here on the Mac, we still have this file. So let's restore this and see what happens. So I'm going to take this file, this one right here, that is in Good Sync Tests, GS Data Saved. And I'm going to drag it into Good Sync Tests. And it's going to ask me, do you want to replace the file? Yes, I want to restore it. So now the Good Sync one is empty. I'll go back into Good Sync. I'll sync this again. I'll analyze it again. Now I've, the restored version has been in this file folder. And now I'm going to sync it. And over here on the Windows side, sorry, on the Mac side, we'll close that preview. We'll open it again. And you'll see it got rid of the clouds that was behind my head. So Good Sync has a way of restoring a file, but it only does one at a time. So if you get a corruption, um, you can restore it once. Uh, if you keep updating the corruption or share it, resync a corrupted file, it'll replace it. Um, so there you go. That's a way of doing that. So this question came about from one of my other videos on how to sync computers together uh, from SSS. And they asked what happens if you do two-way sync from one machine to another and uh, you get a corruption. So while Good Sync won't prevent a corrupted file from being transmitted to the second machine, it will allow you to back it up. Um, so if you like this information and it was handy, please leave a comment below and um, like and subscribe. That helps me a great deal. And uh, let me know what else you'd like me to cover. Have a great day. Bye-bye.